we are currently in the theatre. Just waiting to go see everybody talk to Matt Damon. Yes. I wanted to make sure that was right. <laughs> With all these beautiful hello, people. Hello, my hair's absolutely disgusting. Uh, Say hello. Look at the ceiling. Oh, the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it's like a night. <laughs> that is so cool. That's but yeah. Cool. Um, Really, really excited, and I'll let you know how it goes. So we are in the interval, and this is Georgia. By the way, I didn't introduce you last time. Hello. What do you think? It's good. It's funny. It's so funny, isn't it? It's funny. I thought I wasn't expecting how funny it was going to be. No, I wasn't expecting it to be funny. Not at all. Really, really excited for the second half. I'm excited just to see how it like all wraps up. Mm. Like, I'm as well. Look, that dance number. <laughs> That yes. was my favourite bit by far, that dance number with the... Oh my god. Literally. So, oh. spoiler, so like, stop watching for like the next, what, two minutes. There is a contemporary number in the show that comes out of nowhere and oh my god, it was amazing. Hi Jamie. Oh look, is everybody talking about oh, me? Oh, um, yeah, Amazing. Ollie, what did you think? It's gay shit, I love it. <laughs> But yeah, back to second half with my orange shoes. So we've just been to London Dungeons and oh my goodness, it was absolutely amazing. They picked on all of us. Well, I just got asked my name. Cheska got put. I know Cheska got put in a uh, cage, and Johnny had his tallywhacker chopped off. It was a great time. Um, Neil, you got you got your head like measured as well. Oh, it was amazing. If you're ever in London, 100% go. Um, we're now going to go to Camden, um, and I'll see you later. We're up to you, Johnny. Well, just come back from London Dungeon, and we're getting some gold scram. Getting some fish and chips. I'm Gov so excited. Govna. <laughs> <laughs> Caught you with Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, me and George are sat next to each other again for the uh, theatre. Yes. What are we seeing? Clear that goes wrong. I'm so excited. They've currently got the curtains open, but you are not allowed to take photos. Um, so I'll describe it to you. There's a grandfather clock, there's a couple of curtains, there's a Hello. sofa. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, but yeah, really, really excited to see this one. It's very romantic governors. Yeah. I don't know what that is. It's really good. It's like set in the 30s, I think. And it's um, about a servant. It's like it's a, like based on an old Italian play, and it's about a guy who accidentally becomes a servant of two masters. It originally had James Gordon in it. Ooh, that's yeah. really good. It's very like swanky. I like it. Daisy says that we are in a <laughs> But yeah. Um, might do an interval update. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of the interval? Well, the interval, there is a person on stage wiping. Um, so that pretty much summarises how this first half has gone. Everybody thinks the character in the play is me. Yeah, they do. I don't see it personally. I can, I can, I can kind of see where they're coming from, but I'm also... To be fair, if I got up on stage and was in that position, I'd, pop, I'd probably do that, to be fair. Yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty me, to be fair. What are you thinking? 
I'm I'm loving it. It's hilarious, but it's like it's a lot to take in. Yeah, it like is. you have to be on the ball with it. Like you have to be concentrating constantly. Yeah, I found that. But, but it is so funny. It is really, really. Funny. It's so. Good. It's just a bit with the in the wooden dress in the window. Yeah, like if if you come see the show. There is so much to look out for and so much to... You won't expect any of it. No, not at all. Like, it's just, it's, it's just bloody brilliant. Like, oh, it's so it good. And it's realistic as well. Yeah, like, that's it's the like thing. having been in shows, like, you could see everything that's gone wrong. And yeah. you go, this is literally my worst night, literally. Right? every bit. And then they've booked it by one. Yeah, oh, it's so good. Um, so, yeah. Interval review done. <laughs> so now i'm back from london and i'm in my home home which is basically my parents house not the one that i rent if that makes sense um after london and having a little bit of london blues putting this little vlog together and there were some bits that i kind of left out and i just thought i'd sit down and talk through them such as what my view of the shows were now that I've seen the whole thing not just in the interval so everybody talks about Jamie it was such a good bloody show it was so lovely to watch something it was very refreshing in terms of storylines the music was great the way that it really hit a lot of people was very interesting I'm not personally a crier so I didn't cry in it but a lot of people who I was with did and um, I think it really hit home for a few people so it's definitely one to watch in terms of like a tearjerker if you're into crying not that people are into crying but you know what i mean um the play that goes wrong was really good as well i really enjoyed that it was just so funny i am also as well as not being a crier i tend to not laugh out loud at a lot of stuff and i did in that show i was literally wetting myself i just found it so funny so if I had to say go see a show in London, it'd definitely be the play that goes wrong because every single moment was just absolutely phenomenal. I did end up going to Camden, as I said. Um, I didn't buy anything. I am not very good with vintage clothes store shopping. I'm not very good at like picking out things because my body's such a weird shape. I not I'm like not 100 percent sure if it's actually gonna fit me, so I don't tend to buy stuff. But um, it was really cool looking around some like really old things. And there was a shop that had loads of like vintage um, toys and games and that was really cool to look around. So even if you're not very good like me at vintage store shopping, it's still a good place to go. Um, and I guess the last thing is just thank you to Joel and Megan, who are the social secretaries for Almost Famous, which is this group I'm in, for putting on the London trip because it was really really good and it was just a nice little getaway and I really really liked it. Um, I think the other thing is just to explain why there were so many sort of bits of the National History Museum and what we actually did there. So rather than just going to the National History Museum, the big group of us was split up into roughly about five or six people and we had to run around the National History Museum taking photos in silly poses and stuff like that in our groups and then we find out who wins. I still don't know who wins and I'm sure to update when I do but um, it was so much fun like the group I had we just had an absolute blast everyone was just really funny and it's a really interesting way of actually going around the National History Museum because we were sort of timed in a way so we had two hours to do it we were like running around trying to take all these photos but you still saw the whole of the museum so it was a really creative way to go and do that um and i guess the last thing is that i hope you have enjoyed my first ever vlog and i'm hoping that i will be doing more um because i have really enjoyed it and it is quite nice to look back and see what actually happened I think the only thing is I just need to get more confident with getting my phone out and recording. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.